Hi, my name is Kai Won. Today we're going to share with you guys a film emulation plugin for DaVinci Resolve. It's called Dehancer. So this Dehancer plugin is pretty special. It totally emulates a real film. What I mean, real film. If you shoot film before, you can overexpose your film or underexpose your film and bring back all those exposure to the perfect level in developing process. And what's special about the real film, if you overexpose or underexpose, and you bring back all those exposure, the color will be different. So if you just use a film LUT pack, it will not be different. It just totally transform your color into another color. And then that's all. You won't get those underexposed and bring back the exposure or overexposed and bring back the exposure effect in the real film. So this dehancer is pretty good at this. The dehancer team developed their film, print their film, scan their film in a technical way so you can get really similar results compared to a real film. The color is pretty much the same. And also the Dehancer plugin doesn't just emulate motion picture film, they also emulate the photography film. So just like my favorite Kodak Portra 400, it's in the plugin too. So Kodak, Fuji or some kind of weird film. Uh, expired film it's all in this plugin okay so I think it's time to go through all the different functions in the dehancer plugin so let's get started okay so we're in the color page right now so the first node I would like to use it as a exposure correction node you just got to make sure your highlight and your shadow doesn't clip and that's all and then I would just add a serial node to add the dehancer pro plugin so first you got to change your input source by yourself so you can choose rec 709 2020 or asus or you can choose by your camera so right now this clip is a rec 709 clip so I just choose rec 709 and then you can choose the film you want so I just go through all the films let you know how easy it is to change between different film look and after choosing the film we want we can control the push and pull so negative will be underexposed color in real life positive will be overexposed color in real life next we're going to change the exposure and tonal contrast in the print section and under the print section there is an analog range limiter function this function is awesome it just totally emulate the real film look so a real film it will not just clip the shadow or the highlight it will still maintain some little color information in there so i always keep this analog range limiter on because i really love this look and there is a color density slider the color density will just make your color pop a little bit more but it will not increase your saturation to super duper saturate color so right now i want to make my black part a little bit more contrast so I go to expand, I use the black point to make my black darker and I increase the exposure in the print. So next, we're going to do the color correction in the color head section. If you gain the color head together, you can quickly adjust the green and magenta in your footage. So what you are doing in the color head section is different compared to the color wheel section in the DaVinci Resolve color page. I just feel like the color head control is more pleasing and more fine control in the dehancer plugin then the color wheel or color bar and the davinci resolve next we're going to play with the film grain so as my preference i don't like too much film grain in my footage if you don't like a single function in the dehancer plugin you can always just disable that single function by itself but the film grain is pretty special so if you slide every slider to zero and set the film resolution to 100 you will still have a little bit film grain but you can get a more pleasing soft footage compared to the digital image out of the sensor so i will not just disable the film grain i will just leave it on and set everything to zero instead so next we're going to talk about the halation and bloom the halation effect will be visible at the super highlight part and also it will let your entire image looks a little bit warmer and the bloom effect is a little bit like pro mystic that kind of look it will let your highlight to be a little bit dreamy a little bit soft i really love this bloom effect because you can have so much control compared to the built-in effect in the davinci resolve it's a little like you can decide how much pro mystic you want to put in front of your glass in post this is pretty cool okay so let's go back to the halation and enable it so right now i think the halation effect is a little bit distracting so let's just turn down the impact overall impact to 
maybe 20. Yeah, it looks so much better. So next we can control the vignetting you want, if you want vignette. So next we're going to talk about the film brief and gate weave together. So the film brief will make your every single frame a little bit different. So maybe the first frame will be a little bit brighter. The next frame will be a little bit contrastier, that kind of stuff. So make your every single frame a little bit different. The gate weave is an effect on a film, motion picture film projector. So if you project a film, the film will not be always in the same position. It will kind of wiggle a little bit. So this gate weave will emulate that stuff. It will just crop in a little bit and just move your footage a little bit every single frame, just like a real film projector. Under, we can control the total impact and just control everything inside this node. There is a useful false color to check your exposure. So the Color Enhancer Pro, you can use it like a final color adjustment or you can use it as a stepping stone to get the color you want. So the third node will use the Enhancer Pro as a stepping stone because I think the shadow is a little bit too magenta. So I want to bring the magenta back a little bit. So I go to log and I just control the shadow and it looks better right now. So let's see the before and after. So before it's kind of vibrant and so much saturate color, it just looks a little bit messy. And after the Dehancer Pro, I feel like the footage is much pleasing, it just looks better. And if you shoot a different exposure at the same scenes, you can go to the first node and just control the exposure because the first node is just the exposure control, just like color correction but without touching the color. Just control the lift gamma and gain and leave all the color control inside the dehancer plugin. So this is my easy workflow in node tree. So you can actually do so much more with this dehancer pro plugin. Okay, so this is the end of this dehancer film emulation plugin. So if you like this video, press like, make sure you subscribe my YouTube channel to check out more video like this. If you want to watch more video like this, Check out this playlist. My name is Kaiwan, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.